What is up guys, I'm the Senator and today we're going to take a look at the speed nerf that was recently put on Jaeger and how we can probably expect more nerfs to come to him. Okay, so a few weeks ago, whenever it was announced that Jaeger would be nerfed from a 3-speed down to a 2-speed, everyone lost their minds, especially you Jaeger mains. So, why did Ubisoft want to nerf Jaeger in the first place? Well, it's simply due to the fact that he's picked at a rate of 90%, and I think it's fair to say that the best state that the game could be in, from a statistical standpoint, is when all the operators have balanced pick rates and win rates. That will never happen, but in an ideal world, that would be the case, and this nerf to Jaeger came after the failure of Wama. Wama was released as an attempt to lower Jaeger's pick rate, and while Wama is not a bad operator, he's clearly not as good as Jaeger. So a few months after Wama's release, we were given the Windletter chart for that current season, and it showed that Wama pretty much failed. Jaeger's pick rate did not move at all. So I, as well as a lot of other players, predicted that there would be a Jaeger nerf coming. And well, it's here. And after spending some time with this new Jaeger, I can honestly say that I don't feel a difference at all. Now, you Jaeger mains who constantly play him and play nothing else, you may be able to tell a difference, but I think a majority of players can say that even if the overall feel of Jaeger is different, it doesn't change the fact that he is an essential operator. And looking at this speed nerf, it was also a buff in a sense because he can now take more damage. Like in the current clip on your screen, I get lowered down to 1 HP. Had I been a Jaeger a week ago, I would have been dead at this point. But being a 2 armor allowed me to take more damage and I was able to go on and get the ace. Anyways, while it was nice that Jaeger had a phenomenal ability and was a 3 speed, Jaeger did not have a pick rate of 90% because he was a 3 speed. If that was the case, we would see a higher pick rate in, you know, Vigil, Kavera, and Alibi. And is being a 3 speed an added benefit? Of course it is. I love being able to move faster around the map. And that's one of the reasons why Jaeger was so much better than Wamai. But personally speaking, I've never picked Jaeger due to the fact that he was a 3 speed. As I said, that's an added benefit, but that's not the reason I pick him. I pick him because he has one of the most useful gadgets and a fantastic gun. And after this speed nerf, I can honestly say that I haven't really seen a change in his pick rate. And this is just from what I've seen, and we obviously won't know how this nerf will affect him until we see a wind delta chart. But just playing in ranked, I haven't really noticed a difference. And so since I really can't feel a difference, and I'm not really seeing that much of a change in his pick rate just playing in ranked matches... It's possible that we may see a slight drop in his pick rate. He may not stay at 90%, but honestly, I will be really surprised if he drops below 80%. And if that's the case, I believe Ubisoft would go forward with more nerfs to him. And they have to if they plan on making Wamai more viable and while also lowering Jaeger's presence. And as we're seeing with this current Ying buff, Ubisoft doesn't have a problem with shifting around the way an operator works in order to make another operator more viable. As I stated, the reason that Yang is getting such a huge buff is in order to hopefully make Ward more viable. But anyways, back to Jaeger. If they do continue with more nerfs to him, which is very possible, they could either go after his weapon or go after his ADSs. And if they went after either of those, I think it's more likely that they'll go after his ADS. The reason being that Siege has a lot of problems, and you know this because you're watching this video, so you probably play Siege. And I think the developers see Jaeger's high pick rate as one, and they see the huge number of defender gadgets that attackers have to deal with as another. And this is something that Pro League players are constantly complaining about, and it's the reason that Pro League is so boring until the last 20 seconds of the round. The entire round revolves around getting rid of defender gadgets, and Jaeger adds on to that and makes it extremely difficult for attackers to deal with those gadgets. Attackers will try to get rid of evil eyes, goyo shields, bulletproof cameras with their frags with an Ash or Zofia breaching round, and Jaeger makes it so much more difficult for them to do so. So how could the developers go about fixing this? Well, first off, I want to make it clear that I'm not saying that Jaeger needs a nerf or I want a nerf to Jaeger. But if they're going to nerf him, this may be the direction that they would want to go to. So when it comes to solving the problem of the surplus of defender gadgets that attackers have to deal with, I think a way they could go about fixing that would be to change what attacker gadgets that the ADS can take care of. And so maybe an ADS can only get rid of frag grenades, smoke grenades, and flashbangs, 
while not being able to take care of air jabs and Zofia and Ash breaching rounds. Or maybe they could change the way Jaeger and Wamai work to where Wamai only takes care of certain gadgets and Jaeger takes care of other gadgets. As I mentioned earlier, it's also possible that they could go for a nerf to his gun, which is an amazing gun. However, that's unlikely because even though his gun is amazing, the bigger issue at hand is those ADSs that stop attackers from taking care of gadgets. Now, I'm just throwing ideas out there and it's very possible that Ubisoft is going to leave Jaeger where he is and I think a lot of people would be happy with that. But I can't feel a major difference with him and he's still an essential operator. So that leads me to believe that his pick rate isn't going to change. And if it does, it will be a very, very slight change. So is it a bummer that Jaeger is slightly slower than before? Of course it is. However, as I said earlier, Jaeger isn't picked because he's a fast boy. He's picked because he can stop frag grenades, smoke grenades, flashbangs, ash breaching rounds, Ophia breaching rounds, no matter jabs, Thatcher EMPs, Ying Candelas. All those things can be stopped with a Jaeger, and he does so better than a Womai. So Ubisoft. He's not picked because he's fast. He's picked because he's an operator with a set it and forget it utility that can counter the top fraggers. And when the data comes in and shows that this nerf wasn't that effective as they hoped it would be, and when they see that the buff to Ying actually makes him more viable now than ever before, they'll see that this nerf didn't really change that much. And still, the player base would much rather have a Jaeger than a Womai. And again, I'm not saying that he should or should not be nerfed, but if their goal is to lower his presence, this wasn't the nerf to do it. So what do you think? Do you think that this speed nerf was enough to lower his presence in game? Or do you think that we can expect more Jaeger nerfs to come in the future? Let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys. Also, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way you can be notified every time I post a video. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I'm the Senator, and as always, have a good one. Thank you.